The NBA All-Star Weekend is here, where the sheer talent of top players will be on display in Salt Lake City. On Saturday, some of the most skilled basketball shooters will take the court for the three-point contest. Damian Lillard, Jason Tatum, and the 2020 champion Buddy Heald. Another player to watch is Kevin Herter, who's had a breakout first season with the Sacramento Kings. And Kevin Herter joins us from Salt Lake. Kevin, what's your pre-competition routine? I mean, try to get as many reps in as possible. You know, this isn't something that you practice most of the year. Uh, you never really have an opportunity to practice off a ball rack unless you're getting ready for competition like this. So uh, you try to find your rhythm and get as many reps in as possible. And how do you get mentally ready? It's tough. I mean, you never really know how you're going to do until you know, the lights are on and the cameras are rolling. You can take as many shots as you want behind closed doors, but just like a game, you never really know how you're going to react till you're out there doing it. So uh, this is going to be my first time in a competition like this, but you know, I'm excited, obviously, for the opportunity. What's it going to be like to be center stage? It's a great question. It's, uh, it's something I've, I've looked forward to. I've never been a part of All-Star Weekend, never visited it. Um, obviously, this is my fifth year in the league, so first time doing it. Uh, I'm super excited to see what it's all about, obviously, being on that stage and getting to compete against everybody else. You've been playing basketball for years, but do you ever get over that kind of nerves or that kind of sort of buzz inside when you get onto the court? You do. You do. Definitely the first couple of games of your career, uh, it's nerve-wracking. Everything is new. You're playing against brand-new players in, in a new league, but after that, it becomes normal. Um, you, know, you trust the work that you put in off the court that nobody sees, and you, you hope that carries to, uh, to when everybody's obviously watching. So who's got the edge, Team LeBron or Team Giannis? It's a great question. I, uh, <laughs> we'll see who they draft uh, and what those teams end up looking like, but I think LeBron has gotten in the past couple of years. Uh, Giannis came out a couple weeks ago and was talking about how he wanted to Want to get him this year and win the game. So it's going to be super exciting. I love you know, the setup that they've gone to the last couple of years with you know, the Elam ending. It's uh, super exciting and fun to watch. Sacramento Kings are currently third place in the Western Conference. What explains the turnaround this season? Yeah, you know, we brought in some new guys. Obviously, I'm new to the city this year, a brand new coach and Mike Brown, a uh, brand new offensive system and, you know, bringing in guys from other teams that have won before mixed in with the guys from SAC who've been there and are coming up through the ranks. You're showing Harrison Barnes has been there. He's won a championship. Mike Brown has won a championship. Uh, you know, De'Aaron and Domas are obviously all-stars for the first time this year, had a, a great rookie in Keegan Murray. And so, yeah, you know, we're really just coming together first through playing with each other. And you know, we're really dynamic on the offensive side of the court. Just have to be a little bit better defensively down the stretch here. What's your advice to players on their way up? Trust in your work. It's uh, there's really no secret sauce, secret recipe to get in the NBA. You know, you got to work for it. Um, there's a lot of luck, obviously, that goes into it. You got to catch the right opportunities. But um, if there's no secret sauce, you got to be in the gym, putting the time in. Kevin Herter, thank you, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.